Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to Crystal's Crystal Clear Visions where I use my visions, tarot, oracle, music, movies, dreams, whatever to get us messages from the most high, from our angels, our ancestors, our guides. They usually bring us messages of encouragement to help us get past any blockages, to help us gain insight and healing and I'm gonna keep it a book y'all. Sometimes they like to just let us be nosy, okay? So... Thank you guys so much for being here. Your likes, your shares, your subscriptions to the channel, your donations, your visiting my Shopify store, um, your booking, your readings, and your Reiki sessions. I appreciate each and every last one of you guys for everything that you do to help me grow my channel, okay? Please, please, please continue to keep it up, okay? And if you are new here and you find that you like this content and you want to know how to get down with the get down, check the description box below. It's going to have all the links that you are going to need in order to get in contact with me, okay? All right, so y'all know I like to start my videos off with a little bit of Reiki healing energy, okay? Um, Reiki is a Japanese healing modality. Let me preference this by saying that this video is for entertainment and educational purposes only, okay? Please seek those proper professionals that you may need, you know, those type of things. All right, so that being said, Reiki is a healing modality from a Japanese healing modality, okay? It is universal healing energy that goes where you need it to go in the body to help bring about healing to whatever it is that you need in the body, okay? I would definitely recommend if you don't know a lot about it that you definitely read up on it. It's very, 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 very beneficial um, to the life force energy that we all share, okay? So, you don't have to do anything but accept the energy, okay? I accept this healing energy. You can close your eyes and imagine where you want that energy to go in your body. Um, or, you know, if you don't have a particular place, just ask that the most high direct that energy to where you need it the most, okay? Um, and all you have to do now is close your eyes. We're going to take three deep, big breaths, okay? We're going to in through the nose. And out through the mouth. And in through the nose. And out through the mouth. And last one, in through the nose. And out through the mouth. All right, if nothing else, you should definitely feel relaxed, okay? You may feel a tingle in your body in particular spots, or you may feel nothing at all, but it's okay. Just know that that energy is going where it needs to go, okay? It's going to continue to flow as I continue this reading here, okay? Once the reading has ended, then the Reiki session will end. Um, you can always book longer Reiki sessions by hitting that link in the description box below, or you can just come back tomorrow to get another video um, where I do start them off, okay? So that said, let's go ahead and get started, okay, you guys? So I guess I'm gonna start off by telling y'all my dream. That's why I have my dream journal here. So this is my dream from last night. Alright, so y'all, this listen. So this is from last night, 521. It says someone sent a demon to me. It was like a normal looking female, but I could tell something wasn't right. As soon as I went to say something, she immediately started to shift. I was afraid at first, but then I remember I had power, so I started to cast the demon out. And it was mad, but it left. Then I had a dream of a party or like a family function like a bazaar like it was some type of holiday i'm like i don't know why um father's day is what it seemed like but i don't really i can't confirm or deny that it was father's day um but it was lots of people around and i kept hoping to see my crush but i started to give up hope as the night proceeded and but i started to give up hope and as the night proceeded, I went to the bathroom and I was about to get in the shower. And then a childhood friend that I grew up with 
and uh, one of her friends came up to me, okay? Um, they mentioned that I had gained weight <laughs> and asked what I had been eating, and I replied everything. <laughs> so then I asked her what she wanted, and she said she wanted to go out. So um, I thought that was an opportunity to talk to my crush. Um, so I came out because that I was going to be able to ask him for something. Um, so I, I came out the bathroom and I went and I knocked on his door, which is crazy because it seems like we live together, right? <laughs> he was like the bathroom and the room was literally right next door to each other. So um, I knocked on the door and this guy, he's like a comedian. Um, comedian answer okay and i explained to my friend i explained to him that my friend was here from out of town and that she wanted to go to a party to meet some guys and i asked them if they would help me because i didn't know where to go um then i saw my crush he lifted up his phone and he was like checking the time and then you know they all conferred because it was like a group of guys in the room they all agreed and then they was like okay um, so I went to finish washing my face, you know, so that I could get in the tub and get dressed. Um, and there was also a moment where this childhood friend, where she, she was talking to me and I couldn't understand what she was saying. And she had one of those little, I would say it's a microphone, but I don't know if it's actually a microphone. It's, it's one of those things when they give you a tracheotomy where you put it to your throat and you have to talk through that and like she had to do that okay um and she was like very mad but I was like you know it helps because nobody can understand what you're saying okay but apparently she was very upset about that so I don't know y'all we finna get into it though let's see what is going on what was this dream about spirit what was you trying to alert me to in this dream um, right off the bat, I'm hearing that somebody may be getting sick, okay, they may be finding out that they have, um, something going on with their throat, or they may, um, end up needing a tracheotomy, okay, or, you know, something to that extent, so someone may have been poisoned, may be being set up to be poisoned, um, someone is definitely trying under attack here, okay, with them sending a demon, um, to attack here, so definitely pay attention y'all surroundings you know people we we understand demons to look like these i don't know skin burnt off horns and all that stuff but um demons can look like regular people demons are just like who the devil uses to perform their work okay and they use normal people they use people that you you know everyday people that you see all the time people that are your friends people that are your family um and it's you know they those are people they open themselves up or they're vibing so low that they're able to be taken over by a spirit okay and that spirit is usually well can usually be something that is evil okay so that's definitely something that people should be watching out for okay so we have courtship here so this could be a relationship here this could be somebody wanting to ask someone out on a date here Card number four is the emperor, and that's someone taking control of their life here. So this could be someone trying to take control of a relationship here. Um, we have the, it's like a, a statue of like, I guess that would be Cupid in the background that's like got his head over his face. I feel as though maybe he, um, maybe this is like saying that this person is trying to pick the wrong person here or going for the wrong person here i feel as though the statue is like mm, not again like oh my god <laughs> okay so let's see what else is going on here we have house here okay card number 20 20 is judgment so somebody could be going through judgment someone could be gaining a house losing a house here um but let's see what else is going on 
there's definitely like a full moon here so that could be very significant to someone we also have a message here card number seven okay seven is about challenges seven can be knowledge here um seven can be illusions as well somebody could have a life path number of seven take it how it resonates but someone may be receiving a message sending a message this is some sort of information that may be coming through okay it could be coming through about a house it could be coming through about a relationship here okay so this could be somebody wanting to to take a relationship to the next level but they're wanting to take it with someone that is not um necessarily equal with them here and then we have unexpected income okay card number 27 27 breaks down to nine nine is the hermit okay so that's somebody going within here so someone may be going within and gaining some sort of unexpected income from gifts that they have here um someone could be trying to stop someone from being able to gain unexpected income through their gifts here but let's see what else is going on here give us one more here and we have journey here card number 10 okay 10 is the will of fortune so someone's life path someone's journey is definitely about to change here someone has possibly been on a long journey and it's coming to an end here or this is someone who is about to make a major move here okay so someone may be gaining some money and making a move okay um seeing past some illusions here gaining some sort of message here getting some sort of knowledge here when it comes to a home when it comes to a family when it comes to someone that they may be in a relationship with here okay um bottom of the deck we have message of concern okay card number 14 14 is temperance so this could be some something that is going to balance out a situation someone could whatever this message is that they may be receiving is going to shock them here as you can see she's grabbing on to her heart here okay so this is definitely going to be something that is very shocking it may cause someone's heart to skip a beat um, with this community under here this lets me know as well that this may be something that a lot of people may be seeing here okay it's going to change a lot of different people here okay card number 30 39 breaking down to 12 yeah it's going to change the way people look at things here or the way people see things okay remember in the dream i said i was very you know afraid of the demon that i saw i was shocked that this demon was able to um you know shift like they did and it could even be that i was you know um the demon was shocked too that i knew who i was and that i was able to stop them here okay theft just fell out at the bottom so someone's definitely trying to um possibly steal something from someone trying to throw somebody off of a track here this is somebody trying to keep someone from going within and gaining um gaining some you know taking control of their powers here so i feel as though someone may be trying to may have tried to scare you collective uh, from you know connecting with yourself from going within from learning how to um monetize off of your gifts here um someone could be concerned about the type of gifts that you have they didn't realize the gifts that you had here let's go on to your courtship tell me about this courtship thank you so we have a rich girl here so this could be like a gold digger here this could be somebody who um is very uh, all about the money here okay this could be someone who never has had to work a day in their life here um card number 12 again is the hangman so this could be someone looking differently at a rich girl here maybe there's a masculine energy that is seeing um a feminine energy as maybe a gold digger here okay he's realizing that he's made the wrong choice when it comes to um some sort of relationship he has with this feminine energy here um but again take it how it resonates yeah, i do feel like it's a masculine energy because it's a masculine energy that's taking this journey so there could be a masculine energy that may be ending um a relationship ending some type of cycle here but we're gonna keep going okay tell me about this house spirit thank you Ooh, we got rich good gentlemen so yeah this is a masculine energy here okay card number 13 is coming out with the rich girl here so this is definitely some type of couple some sort of pair here um i believe at one point they were a pair okay or this could be a masculine that's seeing a feminine energy and seeing her as a rich girl and wanting to come towards her here with this masculine this rich good guy he is playing a game of chess so he is trying to maneuver um different ways around this could be a masculine trying 
trying to figure out how to um, gain a home here or trying to figure out where he wants to move to next here. This could be a masculine that has a feminine energy that they are wanting to go towards here. Um, and they're trying to figure out like how to get them their sales in order, their home in order, their health in order, so that they'll be able to have the best outcome when they finally do approach this feminine energy, especially with this message of concern here. I feel as though this masculine may want to, you know, tell this feminine energy that he does want to have some sort of relationship here okay and he may not know how to um go about getting into this relationship and so that is what is you know in the dream remember i was talking about my crush so maybe that is why um this crush was not able to be seen because i never saw his face in this dream i just knew that i wanted to be close to him okay so this could be this masculine's energy okay he wants to be close to this feminine energy he wants to share a home with this feminine energy he wants to have a relationship but i feel as though he is having a hard time um expressing it here okay he doesn't know what to say or how to go about it he could be um concerned about his finances here he could feel like this feminine energy may have more than him okay may be more gifted than him and it is throwing him off okay but again he does want to send out some sort of message here he does want to you know speak his peace here what's this message about here yeah we have a long way and yeah marriage card is <laughs> listen this is a masculine that wants to have a long-term relationship here they've been going on this long journey to find themselves to find out the truth to learn who they are and they are wanting to go towards this marriage here okay with this card number three that's the empress so this is someone who um wants to send a message to an empress here um possibly about marriage possibly about this person's talents this person's gifts so this person may start off you know coming to this feminine energy and you know telling her how gifted she is and you know but really deep down he wants he's enamored by her okay he if you see how this masculine is looking down at this feminine it's like he's so intrigued by her like her skills her talent is what caused this masculine to want to take this long journey here okay they know they they're ready to walk away from any illusions that have been placed over them so um this could be an empress that may be about to receive some sort of message here card number 35 is breaking down to eight which is strength so this is someone who has to gain the courage like i said this is a masculine that was trying to figure out what angle to come towards this feminine energy at okay um eight is also talking about secrets so this is a masculine wanting to move in secret in silence this masculine doesn't want everyone to know it may be a secret that he even wants to go towards this feminine energy that he's even thinking about settling down okay that he wants to communicate with this feminine energy here um Anything else about that spirit? Tell me about this unexpected income. And this masculine definitely wants to go through some sort of change here. Listen, we have a false person here and we also have a pleasant letter here and it is coming over this unexpected income. So what I'm getting from that, like I said, when with this unexpected income, this is somebody who went within to learn how to monetize off of their gifts. I feel as though there is someone here that is wearing a mask here, someone who is very false, someone who deals with the moon. I did talk about the moon and when it comes to a home here as well. Um, this could be someone trying to um, sabotage someone's health here, um, sabotage the way someone thinks here. But I feel as though this is someone here that is trying to intercept this letter. They're trying to intercept this communication here okay they're trying to um yeah this is two completely different people here on this letter so this is someone with like dark intentions here this false person they're trying to intercept or they're trying to um send um communication before this masculine energy is able to communicate here card number eight yep eight is strength remember eight is also about secrets and then card number seven and remember seven is about challenges and illusions and things so this could also be um this feminine energy here um this could be i'm feeling like maybe the childhood friend here that came in as a false person to try and intercept here so remember she wants to go out right to a party she's trying to meet different men here i feel as though she may you know know about 
maybe this masculine or this could even be the feminine that's in masculine energy here so there could be yeah because in the dream it was me i'm the feminine right and i wanted to see my crush here right um i wanted to talk to my crush i was trying to figure out different ways to even get involved with my crush here and i feel like yeah the childhood friend came in and had this whole plan to go out and meet different guys here okay um and i feel as though that may have been off-putting for this masculine energy because they feel as though um or this rich girl take it how it resonates this person is feeling as if they're not good enough or you know they don't know how to speak to this masculine energy here okay listen we got a journey again at the bottom of the day and it's <laughs> i saw it as i was looking at this so this is definitely the masculine and the feminine they're hoping because this is what came out as well hoping dreaming big they're hoping to go on this journey um to meet this you know person that they want to have a relationship with here so this is both the masculine and the feminine energy is what i'm getting they're both wanting to have a relationship with each other but neither one of them know how to go about it here because i see the rich girl here she's just sitting here waiting for this masculine to come in while this masculine is trying to figure out how to come in okay and then you have this false person who's trying to come in and sway both of their opinions okay by sending them um different messages here so this false person could be you know coming in trying to change the direction change the path here um this false person could also be the person that sent the demon here towards towards me in the dream right um but this is definitely someone that is trying to keep these two people from coming together on top of these two people who don't know how to get out of their head and come towards each other okay i feel as though these people have mutual feelings for each other okay so um this could also just be a warning with this message of concern that this false person is about to send some sort of letter here um this person may be trying to um if you have gifts like you know whatever gifts you have if you can you know you're booked if people book you for your gifts i feel as though this false person is going to come in and try and you know um throw you off right because in the dream remember she wanted to go to the party so they wanted to throw you off from the fact that this person um wants to reach out to you this could also be someone who is trying to make sure that you are not where you're supposed to be so that when this masculine finally does decide to reach out you won't be there okay so i'm definitely getting that so tell me about this journey yeah especially with this journey it's somebody that's like hey won't you come here so that you won't be able to you know y'all won't have this chance meeting okay y'all won't be able to be in the same vicinity here this could be also someone wanting to offer you some sort of job so that you'll have to move as well okay so pay attention to that type of thing um good gentleman just popped out on the floor so that could be um again somebody sending um masculine energies towards you or feminine take out yeah, resonate sending people towards you to again keep you from getting in this courtship here keep you from meeting the person that you are meant to be with here your soulmate is what i'm getting here so tell me about this journey spirit what's up with this journey all right listen so someone we have a short illness here we have gaining a lot of money here and then we have sadness here okay so someone may be passing away here i did say that somebody might be sick right remember i said the girl was talking with the the little tracheotomy thing here so someone may pass away here um or definitely someone may get have a sickness here okay um and they may if they pass yeah with this sad news here i feel as though this person may pass away okay someone is might miss this opportunity here with this journey here because this person is going to leave we did have a message of concern here as well so this could be this sad news that this this feminine energy may receive about some, another feminine energy that is sick here okay it may cause this person to have some money okay and that may cause this masculine energy to come in okay so also beware of masculines that may want to come in um, because they feel as though you have gained some sort of money okay and this person may be after money so take it how it resonates it's not going to be the same um for everybody here okay but definitely someone may be losing um a loved one here my condolences but this person is leaving you um 
maybe leaving you some money here we we do have the house here as well um so take that into consideration but we do have at the bottom of the deck great happiness here so um i do see that things will get better after this passing here um but of course you still are going to go through that period of grieving here that period of sadness Yeah, with car number 11 on this, gaining a lot of money, this is definitely um, someone gaining like a wheel here, okay? That could be the message of concern here, the balance that is going to come here. Maybe this person that is sick um, tried to um, send you, send a demon your way, okay? And that demon ended up going back to this person that was trying to send it to you, okay? And in order to balance that out now, this person is going to pass and you may gain um, a lot of money, a lot of insight from whatever this situation was, okay? Um, but take it how it resonates. Tell me about this courtship with this rich girl. Thank you, spirit. So five of wands here. So yeah, somebody was definitely trying to, a feminine energy, was trying to send conflicts here, okay? Trying to throw somebody off balance here with this card number 33. Now, 33 could be um, a master number for someone. It could be their um, life path number here. Um, 33 is also the age that, that Jesus was sacrificed, okay? So this could be a rich girl here that was trying to sacrifice a relationship or trying to sacrifice someone in a relationship or just trying to cause some sort of competition, right? Remember I said in a dream, the girl wanted to go to a party. So this is somebody that wanted to cause some sort of competition here for this masculine energy possibly, um, but take it how it resonates here. Yeah, we have the nine of swords, but because of that, this person is now um, having sleepless nights here. This person is realizing that they are no longer protected. I feel as though this person felt like they had some sort of spiritual protection here. Um, and that this other person was not protected here. But again, someone is having sleepless nights. Again, that is also telling me that this, this rich girl is possibly the one who sent the demon in the dream here. Um, because Nine of Swords talks about the dream state. So again, this person now is being haunted by this demon that they tried to send out here. This person could be losing money rapidly here because card number 41 is breaking down to five, which is change here. Um, and then we do have that five of wands here. So someone is definitely going through a lot of change here having a lot of conflict in their life here they could be having conflicts within their relationship because they were trying to send conflicts to your relationship here we do have the king of pentacles here so this could be someone finding out that they um because he has this letter here at the bottom this king of pentacles could be telling this this rich girl um that they was leaving or wanted to leave a relationship here card number 15 is the devil so that's toxicity this masculine is feeling as if this relationship was toxic remember i said in the back with the the little statue in the back that was covering their face they was like mm, this dude so this masculine energy could have learned, had to learn some sort of lesson about a rich girl that they were dealing with here. They finally decide to cut off their toxicity here with card number 15 and move forward, okay? 15 also breaks down to six, which is the lovers. And so this masculine energy made a choice between um, a lover here, okay? Made a choice between two lovers, possibly. Um, and maybe leaving one situation in order to go towards another here. And so that could be this message of concern that this feminine energy has received here because there's the letter here okay so this king of pentacles um boss person earth sign this person left a letter okay and he's leaving <laughs> i just heard it. i'm leaving on that midnight train to georgia leaving on the midnight train i'm going back to find a simpler place in time okay all right, so tell me about this house with this rich, good gentleman in this long way. Yep, <laughs> Ace of Wands here. This person decides to take a new journey here, a new beginning. Card number 31 breaking down to four, so that's the Emperor. This Emperor has decided that they're ready to leave this home, okay? They're ready to go towards a new home. This has been a long journey for this Emperor here. This is something that he's been doing in secret here. He's been trying to maneuver different ways to get out of this situation. So this could be someone. 
yeah with this ace of so i'm sorry ace of wands here somebody is um again leaving a situation leaving a home um going in a new direction here car number 31 yeah i said that four um so someone definitely chose a different path chose a different way to go here this is a long journey for this person they um definitely really thought this situation out and they have come to the conclusion that they are no longer wanting to be in this situation anymore here okay tell me about this message with this marriage card message with this marriage card thank you yeah we have these six of cups here so someone may realize that they um again are wanting to you know move towards a house that they could have been in in the past here they could find some sort of documentation when it comes to a home um in the past from the past here um card number three again look three and three here so this is definitely this could be with this empress here someone realizing um uh, about or learning about past life situations so this could be a masculine that realizes that they're wanting to go towards a feminine energy that they may have shared a past life with here um someone that they have been with in different lifetimes as well but this could also be a masculine energy that is gaining some insight into a home that they may have lived in in the past maybe they're realizing that this home may have been left to them um in the past here and they are gaining information and knowledge about that okay and um, we do have a couple houses here on the um board here so there's definitely some some information that is going to come out um about a home here um someone may have been left a home here someone may have been left a home in the past here okay an empress energy could have been left a home here this could be a masculine energy that is going to come forward and offer a home to an empress energy it's going to be different for everybody here we have the page of swords at the bottom of the deck so someone is definitely watching here someone is gaining information gaining insight here okay tell me about this unexpected income this false person and pleasant letter yep seven of swords here so someone is definitely um deceitful having deceit here with this false person here coming through making a plan um someone could be uh card number 25 breaks down to seven uh, again seven is about illusions challenges here yeah someone was trying to cause somebody to miss out on the opportunity here with this four of cups here okay they're trying to cause a person to miss out on their abundance here they're trying to cause this person to i'm getting that quote um teach a man to fish and he'll eat for lifetimes here so i feel as though someone is learning how to or someone's trying to to distract someone from learning how to fish here okay so someone's definitely trying to cause a distraction here card number 17 17 is the star so this is someone trying to distract the star or a star could be trying to distract someone there could be stars here that are distracting people from um the truth here distracting people from um learning about their gifts here learning about how to um make possibly money or something to that extent here um and then with the the fish again that's someone's abundance here okay so someone's trying to distract somebody from their abundance here um yeah we have the three of cups this could be even people working together okay with this um distraction here the three of cups could also be like a gathering a party like i said the feminine energy came in and wanted to go to a party to meet these different guys they were trying to to cause this distraction here um they are trying to distract from some sort of enlightenment as well some sort of knowledge here okay car number one one is about new beginnings here one is also the magician here so this could be someone who may have um manipulative energy here um or someone could be a magician and someone's trying to distract them from who they are okay yeah with card number 27 remember that's nine which talks about going within so someone's definitely trying to distract someone from their true identity here distract them from possibly assets that may have been left to them in the past distract them from getting to their um soulmate their person here distract them from a home here um so there's definitely a lot of distractions a lot of deceit going on here in this situation um tell me about this journey okay tell me about this journey someone may start a new journey once this 
um, someone passes here. Yeah, we have the Queen of Cups here with the, the uh, ring here. So someone, again, wants to get married. Someone wants to go on a journey. But it's once they end whatever this situation is, if this masculine is in a relationship with a false person, um, they're going to end this relationship and head on to a new journey here. Um, with the Queen of Cups, this could be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. It doesn't have to be. Um, Cups talks about intuition. Cups talks about feelings here, okay? So this could be someone, let's say there's a masculine who is going to, you know, head towards someone that they truly have deep feelings for and they may ask this person to marry them and that's how they gain a home. Um, this could also be um, someone who follows their intuition here um, and goes on some sort of journey. They're led on a new journey once um, someone in their life passes away. The Queen of Cups could be a mother figure as well. So there could be a mother um, that passes away and it causes, you know, this masculine and this feminine and or this feminine to go on a new journey here. Um, some sort of journey that is going to bring them some sort of um, monetary gain here or a union here. Anything else with that spirit? Yeah, we have the Nine of Wands here, okay? Someone's definitely headed towards new love with that part. And the Nine of Wands talks about the Wounded Warrior. So this is someone who's gone through so many, you know, turbulent times, turbulent things over and over again. I feel as though this is about to end for this person here. Yeah, card number 26. Um, 26 breaks down to 8, which is strength. Someone is going to gain strength or has gained strength from going through these tower moments, going through these issues that they've been going through, going through this deceit, people throwing them off this journey here. I feel as though now things are about to start aligning for this person, okay? Um, 8 also talks about secrets. It also talks about destiny, okay? So this person was destined to go on this new journey. This person was destined to have success. This is someone who was destined to have great happiness. Someone who was destined to have love here, card number 26 again, right? So this is someone who spirit is about to upgrade this person. They're about to upgrade their life, okay? Because again, there were people that were trying to stop this person from moving forward, okay? Yeah, with this six of, of wands here at the bottom of the deck, there's definitely someone about to get praise, recognition. This is someone who's about to have notoriety, fame here. Um, this is something that's going to come in with the quickness here. Things are going to start moving rapidly for you, collective, okay? Card number 40 three breaking down to seven so we got another seven so someone's luck is definitely changing here um they're about to start seeing through the illusions no longer being challenged here um you know about their past here so someone is definitely gaining um a new perspective now okay we did have this ace of, of wands here so someone's definitely um heading on a new path a new journey here okay no longer plagued by um people trying to cause competition in their life money won't be an issue um where this person lives is not going to be an issue and i do see someone moving towards marriage as well okay so let's get a wisdom oracle card to end off this reading and then i'll see you guys in the next one all right Holy Spirit, cut the deck on truth be told and happy, happy. So Spirit is definitely saying that this is the truth. Things are going, the illusions are fading away and that someone is going to be very happy here. Another card of 26. So this is somebody's destiny to be happy, okay? Someone's destiny to um, get their wish fulfillment here. Remember in the dream, um, the I was looking for the crush here and at the end, the crush was like, hey, I'll go. We'll go. Let's go out. OK, so I feel as though that is something going, you know, happening for someone in this situation here. But again, they are definitely going to be losing people here, um, false people here that were trying to cause them turmoil here. So we have community, another card of eight, which talks about destiny. So let's see what it reads. OK, co-create at the bottom of the deck. So someone is co-creating with the most high the type of life that they desire here all right so community belonging being seen and understood by others like-minded connections a sense of family and friendship knowing your place in the world this card signals a new affiliation with the group humans are social creatures and we need to know we are useful to our families and communities in a community, everyone has an important function and feels I matter. Membership in the group provides a sense of belonging, of kinship, and of purpose that comes from working together for the greater fulfillment of all. Perhaps you are part of the spiritual community or an artistic one. 
Perhaps you are in a learning community where you share your love of education. Regardless of its form or focus, your community brings you joy. You will be inspired by it and want to contribute to it. Your contribution may be as small as showing up or as large as becoming its leader. No matter your position in the group, your presence is needed, okay? So it's definitely someone getting news about their you know, gifts here with this unexpected income. Like I said, someone is about to have a total upgrade, okay? Um, this message is basically saying that whoever was trying to bring you down, send negativity your way, cause you strife, like that person is going to end up reaping those things that they were trying to send towards you, okay? So if they wanted you to pass away so that you would be stopped, guess what's happening? This person is suffering through some sort of sickness and they are about to be stopped here with this sad news here while you you go on to have this new beginning here okay while you go on to have this family while you go on to meet like-minded individuals and either you become a leader or you're just somebody by showing up okay so listen i hope that this message was helpful to somebody out there don't forget to hit that like button share subscribe to the channel um and i will see you guys in the next video i love you so much bye